Zwom Bimo. Hey everyone and welcome to another Bimo Creative Crypto video. So this one's long overdue. It is about the coelacanth. Have you ever heard of this? If you have not, uh, this is a massive fish dinosaur. It's the drawing I did of one. Uh, they're literally thought to be extinct until 1938 when they were discovered in South Africa and it shocked the scientific world. Uh, local fishermen and natives called the fish the Gombesa or the Mame. It's a tribal native legend about a giant fish that has legs and no spine and nobody believed them until one was caught and saved this time instead of eaten. Anyways, fossilized remains helped experts date the supposedly extinct fish species back to over 66 million years, now believed to be more than 100 million years old, to the uh, Cretaceous period, which is, by the way, when T-Rex roamed the earth. Uh, December of 1938, South African Museum curator Marjorie Courtney Latimer so if you don't know that name, look her up. She's pretty awesome. Uh, she was called to the fish docks by a Captain Hendrik Goosen because they had a deal. Every time the captain would find something weird, he would let her know. And he got tired of all of the people saying that this, the Gambesa wasn't real. So he, he saved one for her and he called her about it. And she thought it was just a myth as well. But she went to the docks anyway and she described it as very large, beautiful, and looked like a ceramic ornament. And then she had to, it started uh, creating like a gel around its body to protect itself because it was out of the water. So she had to scrape the slime away to reveal what she called the most beautiful fish she had ever seen. In addition to its iridescent silver blue green sheen, the fish possessed several other unusual features, including four limb-like fins, just like the native said, and a strange puppy dog tail. Lucky Courtney Latimer was persistent. She was a tough girl because she had to convince the cab driver to let her place it in the trunk wrapped in a blanket. Then at the museum, she had to convince the museum's chairman to let her bring it in and study it because he just shrugged it off and said it's nothing more than a giant stinky rock cod. Uh, she sent a drawing of it to J.L.B. Smith, a lecturer and amateur ichthyologist at Rhodes University, he took one look at it and he said it was like a bombshell went off in his brain. He hoped that her drawing was accurate. Uh, the 1938 coelacanth is still on display at the East London South Africa Museum. Some information about this fish, okay? It has been caught all over the world, by the way, primarily off North America, Europe, South Africa, Oh, South America, Africa, Madagascar, Asia, and Australia in both sea and fresh brackish water that's pretty deep and cold. They grow to well over 17 feet, actually, and can live for more than 100 years. We don't know how long they live. We don't know how big they get. Uh, they have four limb-like fins that are called lobe fins that act mostly like legs because the fish has been videoed crawling on the bottom of the ocean. Coelacanth also have a unique joint in their head that allows them to widen their mouth an astonishing amount to swallow prey. Of all living animals, the coelacanth is the only one that I know of that has this joint. Uh, them and teenagers. Okay, just kidding. That was a joke. Anyway, they have been found as deep as 2300 feet in the ocean where they use a electric generating organ known as, known as the rostral organ, it's, I believe it's in their nose, to navigate with because it's so dark down there. There are some giant species of this fish, the Masonia and the Masinidae, coelacanth, um, as well, are still around and have been caught since 1952 even though science says that these larger species are extinct here's some pictures that proves that wrong yeah they're they're not um so after seeing this fish what do you think may still be out there contradicting science just by walking around living and eating stuff leave a comment below 
Anyways, that's going to do it for this one. Please leave a like and subscribe to BMO Creative for more crypto videos. Thanks. Bye.